When life gives you two by fours, well, make four by fours. Uh, uh, uh. The storms are brewing. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, what in the tarnation is that? You can assume it is filling the garage because, you know, it would be perfectly organized otherwise. It's a quad bunk bed. Massive one, made from oak, milled here on the old oak property, which is nice. A little sentimental touch, but she needs some sanding and we need to finish gluing stuff up. We are going to take it apart so that we can bring it outside. <laughs> Okay. It's made to be taken apart, you know, perfectly. Oh, jeez. Yep. So that one still needs glued up. That's fine. All right. There's one. If I'm just gonna get them out of the way. Yeah, okay. some forks for the tractor so I can lift this stuff. Yeah. Uh -uh. Broke. <laughs> it broke. Ah, man. I'm sure a lot of you saw that coming. That's so incredibly predictable.
We're about done. The posts are sanded and they are about ready. But the day was all sanding. There's nothing fun about watching that or doing that. So if you made it this far, that's impressive. I'm just tired and my lungs are full of cancer. I need a ventilator. I know that it's painful that I don't. At least standing outside helps you a little bit. There's some wind that's pushing those particles away from you, but these posts are gonna get stained. We'll get this bunk bed up. There's another little trick I have. Really, when it comes to these two by fours, I had a whole bunch of two by oak material that was milled. No 16 quarter board, so I didn't like the look of a two by four for a post. I didn't want to go out and just mill four by fours just for this project. They'd be soaking wet. These are already half there dry. They're pretty dry. This is not furniture as much as it is. It's dry enough to take stain. It is glued up. It will shrink a little bit, but it's not going to affect. It's not going to affect the project. It's almost timber frame-esque where there's a little shrinkage that will be allowable. That's a lot to say, use what you have. I'm doing this on purpose. There's actually, hopefully, hopefully in the near future, you're gonna see that this whole area is changing pretty rapidly. Uh, a lot more tools are going to make life a lot easier. However, right now, I have an orbital sander, a belt sander. I have a very small jointer. I have a entry level thickness planer, table, job site table saw, but you know what? That's what's in the garage right now. So, and I will look back a year from now, God willing, and looking at that project and say, oh, I could do that in an afternoon with the proper setup. But, because tools make everything so much faster, the right tool. However, you can do it with a hand planer. You can do it with that number five plane if you have to, you can. But, we did it a few different ways, and in the end, I think we got a product that'll be just fine. Good night. Ugh. Mm.